Hello, my name is Tony, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can transcribe a meeting into a Word document. Now if you want to learn more tips like this, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right path. To be able to transcribe into Word, you will need to have a Microsoft 365 subscription. And I'm currently logged in to office.com via the browser. The transcribe option is not available in the desktop version of Word. So let's get started. So I'm going to click on Word. And to start transcribing, under the Home tab, then you've got Dictate. But if I click on the drop down for Dictate, I've got Transcribe. This opens up a panel on the right. So I've got two options here. I can either start recording, and this will transcribe once I've finished my recording, or I can upload a file. So I'm going to start a recording just to show you how that works first. And now I can start talking. So perhaps I'm doing a meeting or just quickly creating some notes verbally. And what will happen once I've finished this recording, it will then transcribe what I've been saying. You do have the option to pause. So if the doorbell goes or if the phone rings, you can pause it and then come back and then press this button again uh, to continue the recording. Now the advantage that transcription has over dictation in Word is that when you transcribe, as you're talking, you don't really need to worry about the punctuation too much or the formatting or any of those commands, which can be a bit stop start. So the idea is that you can just chat away and then you can work on the formatting afterwards. Okay, I think that's enough jibber jabber for now. So I'm gonna stop this recording by clicking save and transcribe now. And what it does, it will upload it to OneDrive. So it automatically creates a folder for the transcriptions. So there's the file there transcribed. And what you can do is at the moment it says speaker one. So I can change that. If there was more than one speaker on this audio clip, then it would say speaker two, speaker three, and so on. And you can rename these speakers. So if I click on the pencil, I can click in here and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna pop in my name. You can either change them one by one, or if I click here, I can change all speaker ones to Tony the Trainer. And when I click the tick, it will update all of those. So if I click on the pencil, I can go in here and edit these transcriptions. So if Word has misheard what I've said, I can modify it here. You can also click on these time entries and it will jump to that part of the audio and then we'll start playing it back. And then once you've done editing the transcription, you can either click on these little plus signs here and that will just add this section to the document. Or down here at the bottom, you can press add all to the document and it will pop the whole lot in with the audio file. And again, you can click into here and then modify this document. You can add the format in and do what you need to do. So that's transcribing a live recording. So we're now gonna look at how to upload a file and how you can work with that one. So I'm gonna start a new transcription I'm just gonna click OK to this message. And let's just delete all of this text. Now, before I upload this file, just to point out that there is a limit to the amount of transcriptions you can upload. So you can upload 300 transcription minutes per month. There's no notes on how you can increase this or whether Microsoft are gonna increase this in the future. So you are limited to 300 minutes, upload minutes. I'm gonna click upload audio. So there's different types of files that you can upload. It doesn't have to be audio only. You can upload a video like an MP4 and it will take the audio from that video and transcribe it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Click upload audio and I'm gonna select a video that I've used recently, which is how to dictate in Word. And it's now gonna transcribe that audio file. This can take a few minutes depending on the length of the file. But I'm gonna use the magic of Camtasia to speed this process up. So here on the right, you can see that it's transcribed that file. And again, like before, you can edit these just by clicking on the pencil. And remember, if there's more than one speaker, it will identify the separate speakers in the meeting. Okay, so in a similar way as before, you've got the options to add the sections to the document, or you can add all to the document as before. Let's just do add to document. So it pops all those across just like that. And again, I could go in and then format it. I can save it, I can send it, whatever I need to do. And if I go to OneDrive up here at the top, 
got a folder here called transcribed files. I click on there, it's got my, the files that I created earlier. Now if you want to learn how to dictate a Word document, then watch this video here. Or if you want to watch what YouTube is suggesting, then watch this one. And I will see you in the next video.